Okay, so this was one of those weird games, man. I'm not gonna lie, this was a crazy game. Came down to the wire, just like all these other prime time games. This was a fantastic game. Shout out to the Tennessee Titans for getting the win. They got the job done. They did what they needed to do. The defense making a goal line stand on fourth down to win the game. Wow, I did not expect that to happen, man. I had the Bills in this game, and I cannot believe what the Titans were able to pull off. Honestly, this is a win that not only saves their season, but I think propels them into becoming the team we expected them to be this year. Now they're 4-2. and two. They're looking great. They have a great shot to win their division. The Titans are starting to look like the team I expected them to look like. However, this does come with a bunch of losses, which we'll get into, because this game was wild. The fact that the Titans pulled this off, this might be one of the most impressive wins I've seen by a team all season. Like, this was crazy. So, uh, let's get into this game. Uh, let's speak on the Bills first. Buffalo, I do not know what happened in this game. Your defense today could not stop Derrick Henry. And, of course, Derrick Henry is a beast. Derrick Henry literally did everything for the Titans today. But you guys, you couldn't make a stop. You couldn't make a stop in key situations. And, ultimately, that was your downfall. The Titans scored on their final, like, six – it was like their final five or, or six possessions. They put up points in their final five or six possessions of the game. Like, you guys could not get these guys off the field. Every time they were coming out on those final five to six possessions, they were either putting up a touchdown or a field goal. I mean, you, you just can't do that as a defense. This is supposed to be one of the best defenses in the league. To come out here and let these guys score, yeah, giving up 34, it sucks. It happens, you know, it happens to the best of teams. But you cannot let the Titans score on six straight possessions to end the game. Like, that's not a good thing. Buffalo's defense did not come to play today in terms of stopping the run. In terms of the pass game, you know, they did a good job handling Tannehill, who didn't really do much. He threw a pick, but he wasn't the most accurate uh, of throwers today. You know, he did what he could for the most part. It wasn't like he was awful, but, you know, he did what he needed to do. Uh, Julio Jones made an insane catch in this game. Uh, but other than that, this was really the Derrick Henry show, and the Bills' defense, they knew coming into the game you had to stop Derrick Henry, and they just were not able to do so. They were not able to do so, and that was the difference maker. So, <clears throat> yeah, it just it came down to that, man. It came down to stopping Derrick Henry, and the Bills' defense failed that one. So I feel like a big part of this loss has to go on the Bills' defense for not managing to stop Derrick Henry, which, again, it's not exactly the easiest thing to do. The fact that, you know, Derrick Henry is a beast and honestly should have – a lot of consideration for MVP this year. But, you know, the MVP is just a quarterback type of award for some reason. Running backs don't seem to get the, the amount of praise they should. But Derrick Henry definitely needs to be in the MVP conversation because today and what he's been doing the last several games, it, it's just been amazing. And that's why he is literally the most dominant back in the game right now. It's crazy. But, uh, yeah, that Bills defense did not show up when they needed to. It's nice that they got the turnover on, on Tannehill. But other than that, they could not stop the run. And that was the difference maker in this game. So a big chunk of this loss has to go on the the defense. You know, Another good chunk of the loss has to go on um, Sean McDermott. And, again, I, of course, as the head coach, you're going to have to hold it up to him because of the decision that he makes that ultimately cost him the game. But I'm going to be honest. When it comes to that decision, which we'll talk about, I, I didn't disagree with the decision to go to do what they did. But, uh, you know, if a play like that doesn't work, you as the coach, you're going to be held responsible. So he's going to take a big chunk of the credit here. Well, a big chunk of the um, blame. Well, yeah, he's going to take a big chunk of the credit for the loss, which is basically the blame. But, uh, yeah, uh, play calling, honestly, for the – for the Bills today offensively, it was on it. It was on it. Play calling was great. The execution was great. Josh Allen was amazing in this game. Over 350 yards passing and three touchdowns. He had a pick, but, you know, it happens. But other than that, yeah, Allen played spectacular, man. Diggs, Beasley, and Emmanuel Sanders, they all got involved. Beasley and Diggs were able to find the end zone. They got touchdowns right there. But, yeah, you know, Josh Allen was slinging the ball. He was accurate for the most part. He was making a lot of plays. He was doing what he needed to do, and he was cruising in this game and just making plays. If you look at the final score and you see how Josh Allen impacted the game and how he played, you would expect the Bills to win this game, but the fact that they didn't is crazy. 
So, uh, yeah, Josh Allen played amazing. This was a great game for him. Unfortunately, they were not able to get the job done. Uh, first half was kind of crazy. The fact that the Titans were even in that was already insane. But I know Titans fans, and especially um, Vabro was not he was not happy, man. Vabro was not happy with um, with how his team played in the first half because if you watch that first half, the Titans should have had so they they should have been they should have been leading. They really should have been leading. They should have been leading. Because they had so many opportunities to put up points, so many opportunities to cost turnovers, they really should have been leading. But unfortunately, they were down. I believe what twenty to seventeen going into halftime. It was crazy. And I know Vrabel was not happy with what his team was doing because they gave up a wide open touchdown in the end zone to uh, Beasley. And yeah, the, the defense in this game. Speaking of that, we're gonna have to get into that for the Titans. But yeah. Um, Vabel was Vabel was just not happy, man. He was not happy with what his defense showed today, but with the game on the line, they made a stop. Offensively for the for the Bills, they they played well, but with the game on the line, they couldn't make the stop. Uh, switching over to the Titans, offensively, like I said, Derrick Henry was killing it. The the Bills defense was not able to make stops, and it showed. <sighs> I don't know what to make of Henry, man. He's a different type of beast. He's a different type of beast, man. You just cannot stop this dude. It's very difficult to slow him down. Legit, you have to zone in to stop him. And that needs to be the game plan. For every team that's facing off against the Titans moving forward, you need to understand the offense starts and ends with Henry. If you don't zone in to stop this guy, you're not going to do anything. If Tannehill carves your secondary up and goes for like 300 plus and like three touchdowns, at the end of the day, you say, good job, Tannehill. Way to go. Great win for you guys. If you lose to Tannehill's arm, you lose to Tannehill's arm. But you cannot sit back and let Derrick Henry go off. And that's what the Bills defense did. They couldn't stop him. Henry was a monster today. Three touchdowns again. Three rushing touchdowns and over 140 yards rushing. This guy was a monster once again. And there was no answer for him. Uh, you got you got an amazing catch, like I said, from Julio Jones. A.J. Brown had a couple nice catches. But other than that, it wasn't much to say about the Titans offense other than Derrick Henry is a monster. He des definitely deserves to be in the MVP conversation. And it's not even it's it's not even a question as to whether or not he should be considered because he definitely, definitely is playing like an MVP. He is carrying the Titans right now. The Titans offense is just Derrick Henry right now. That's just how insane it's been. So, uh, yeah, Titans offense was great. Titans defense, however, Titans defense, man, the Titans defense for much of this game did not do well. And you know what? They get a complete free pass for how they played. Because, one, they're already dealing with injuries coming into this game. But, two, and most importantly, they lost several defensive players throughout the game. Can you imagine that? They just continued to see their secondary just get riddled with injuries. One player goes down, another player goes down, another player goes down. They just kept losing guys. And when you're losing players mid-game, you have to bring in other guys who aren't really ready to take over that role. Obviously, it's going to show. And the Bills made sure to take advantage of that when they could. So that defense did not play well today, but I'm not going to hold it against them because they were literally losing multiple players as the game was going on. So it was tough to see that um, Titans defense go through that. But you know what? At the end of the day, they made the biggest play of the game. So let's get down to that whole situation. So, uh, yeah, yeah, the Bills defense once again fails to stop Derrick Henry. He goes in the end zone, and uh, the Titans take a lead. Now the Bills get the ball back. They're down by three. It's just a little bit over two minutes. And once again, Josh Allen has a chance to go down the field, be the hero, and add to his MVP case. So he's just carving up the Titans secondary because they're riddled with injuries. And Josh Allen's just being a monster by hitting his targets. I mean, he was throwing a lot of, he had a lot of great throws, guys. He had a lot of great throws, man. He was doing his thing today. But yeah, he goes down the field, continues to carve him up. We get to the two-minute warning. And again, they just continue to make plays because the Titans can't make stops. Now, the clock was starting to tick, going under a minute, and it continued to tick. And Vrabel, he stood tall. He stood tall. He was not afraid. And I'm looking at Vrabel, and I'm like, bro, like, the clock is ticking. You understand if they score a touchdown here, 
you're not going to be able to recover. It looked like he was playing for overtime, and that's just how the defense was set up. They were not going to give up anything over the top, and they did, they did a great job of that. Anything that was picked up on this drive was underneath. They were not going to give up anything over the top. So, yeah, that defense was playing for overtime, which is smart. You want to play for overtime because at this point, where they already were in that at that moment of the game, yeah, play for, for the field goal because you just want to play for overtime. You're going to give up a field goal at least if they choose to kick it. So... They continue to go down. They get into the red zone. They continue to go down. They could continue to go down. And then we get to, boom, the moment. It's third down. They're at the goal line. Josh Allen scrambles, and he jumps in the air, and he, like, jumps and dives to try and pick up the first down. Which, by the way, um, Bills fans, look, I understand the, the, the Josh Allen is tough, man. That's a tough guy. What, 6'5", huge dude. He's very physical. He's very athletic. He can take these hits. But I'm going to be honest, man. You you don't want Josh Allen taking those type of hits. I don't care how strong he is. You just don't want your quarterback taking those type of hits. So I, I appreciate him doing that. But Josh Allen, moving forward, please try to refrain from doing situations like that. Don't don't try to jump in the air and take all that contact because he was taking a lot of hits. He was being very aggressive when he was when he was running the ball. I just I don't want to see that from Josh Allen. Like These guys are looking to target you, man. Don't give them the opportunity to do so. But, uh, yeah, Josh Allen, he puts everything he has into trying to get that first down. And, like, multiple players hit him, and he's just short. So now we're pretty much under 30 seconds. The clock continues to tick, and it's fourth down in one, and they're so close. Now, here comes the decision. Are you going to go for it, or are you going to kick the field goal? Now, a lot of people were saying they should have kicked the field goal, tie it up, and play for overtime. But... I'm not exactly sure that was the right decision. I mean, of course, that's probably the better decision to go for because, you know, if you're looking at the Titans' defense, they're gassed. So just play for overtime, put your faith and trust in the defense, and just see what you can do in overtime. But Sean McDermott saw the situation. He saw that this Titans' defense was just... They were scrapped, man, because they had so many injuries coming into the game, and then they continued to lose players as the game went on. So he saw that, and he understood that this is a great opportunity for us to go out there and just uh, get the job done. Great opportunity for us to go out there, get the job done, pick this, pick up this first down, uh, seal it with the dagger, and just get into the end zone. They are gassed, and they are heavily injured. So McDermott was like, looking at the situation, our defense hasn't done a great job stopping Derrick Henry. So if we go into overtime and the Titans get the ball, I don't know if my defense can make that stop because they haven't been able to stop Henry. And the, the Titans have been able to put up points in each of their last five or six drives. So he didn't really want to deal with that. But the number one most important thing was the injuries that the Titans were dealing with. And I think because of those injuries and because he has Josh Allen as his, as his quarterback, yeah, you go with it. You have Josh Allen as your quarterback. Go for it on that 4th one. I was not against that decision. You have Josh Allen as your quarterback. You go for it. As a Ravens fan, if we had Lamar in that situation, we had a chance to to um, go for overtime there, I would be absolutely 100% with it because, again, you got Lamar Jackson. It's one yard. We can get that. Josh Allen can do the same thing. Now, in terms of a quarterback sneak, I feel like when it comes to quarterback sneaks, it's very risky because, you know, that's a, one, that's a chance for your quarterback to get hurt, which I don't like to put them in situations like that. Two, um, there's also a chance the fumble could happen. Or three, you may just have a, a, a messed up snap, which may, may lead to the quarterback potentially just slipping. And that was kind of what happened here. Now, the snap wasn't mishandled. It was just Josh Allen slipped on that fourth down play. But... I didn't like the quarterback sneak. I, I felt like you could go for it on fourth down, but you've been doing a great job in the run and passing game. That honestly, you probably could have set up something simple, some play action situation. Hell, you probably could have done anything. Try to get you know the ball in the hands of Emmanuel. Said anybody, man. Any other running play other than the quarterback sneak. I just didn't like a quarterback sneak there. And credit to the Titans because no one thought they were going to make that stop there, but they held up. Josh Allen slipped a little. The Titans defense was engaged. Honestly, even if he didn't slip, I don't think he would have gotten it. Everybody, they swarmed in. The entire Titans defense swarmed in, man. So I just didn't think that the Titans were going to let the Bills get that one yard to pick up the first down. So credit to the Titans defense. They made a stop. Sean McDermott, people are definitely going to be questioning why you didn't choose to go to overtime. But I felt like that was a good decision right there just because the, the Titans defense was scrapped at this point because they suffered so many injuries inside of the game. And you guys have been doing a great job carving them up with Josh Allen and this team. So... Why not? Why not go for it? Josh Allen literally pick up picked up like what five yards in the previous play. He can get that, but you know, unfortunately, they weren't able to. So, with that being said, 
The Bills take the loss. They fall to 4-2. and two. The Titans, with the biggest win of their season, they move up to 4-2. and two. And now, with that being said, the Baltimore Ravens, at 5-1, and one, sit the top of the AFC with the number one seed. Interesting. Very interesting. But yeah, overall, great game for Josh Allen. Unfortunately, his team wasn't able to get the win. Amazing game by Derrick Henry, but we're used to it by now. This guy is just a monster. No one else in the league plays like him. He's a beast. So a great game, great win for the Titans, great defensive stop. Way to go for them. Uh, but yeah, Ravens, you at the number one seed right now. Bills will bounce back. Bills will bounce back. Titans will continue to play. And we'll just see how it you know goes in the AFC because this, this year is crazy. This year has been crazy. All the primetime games have been amazing. But yeah, with that being said, that is all I got, and I'm out of here, man. Peace.